So let's repeat the same exercise. I'm going to use exact same access control list to block telnet traffic from any network here on the right hand side towards the PC2, but allow everything else. So what I'm going to do, I removed previous configuration and I'm going to recreate this access control list. So now I'll use IP access list and now I'm prompted for a standard or extended keyword. So I'm going to go for extended at this particular case and the name. The name could be the number, so it comes in handy when you already have lists that are numbered and you can modify them using IP access list uh, syntax like I've showed you in extended uh, in standard numbered ACL in the video. So I'm going to say the name will be filter here and I'm in the configuration of extended na na named access control list. Now I'm going to deny. So the first is deny and what follows is the protocol and again protocol could be layer 3 or layer 4 number or the name given the list here. I'm going to say deny TCP coming from any source going to and I don't know what the source port is going to be because it's a client initiated connection. So uh, the destination is host 10 1 102 actually 2102 but the destination port equal so we have greater than equal less than range and um, so all these parameters or operators should could be used it's a destination port equal telnet again I have a list of ports here if I have I can say 23 or telnet I'll prefer telnet just like previously, um, this statement won't do much. Uh, it block it will block obviously telnet and everything else because the top-down processing will be used if something is a match. The remaining entries are ignored. If there is no match, there's an implicit deny everything else. So I need to permit now something because deny this telnet is followed by implicit deny everything else. So now permit IP protocol irrespective of which carries ICMP, OSPF or TCP or UDP, what have you, permit IP from any source to any destination should look like this. I, I want to permit it. So do show access list filter. Now I need to apply this obviously on the interface. So my interface is interface is 0 slash 3.30 with IP access group filter inbound. So now it's applied on the interface. So if I go back to my Internet 3, I should be able to so anything from here, coming from here, from any source towards that particular host, as long as it is not Telnet, is going to be allowed. So if I try to do ping packet from that, ping 10.1.2.102, that should work, and it does. If I want to use Telnet, maybe, so Telnet 10, 1, 2, 102, port 80, that should work and it gets open. Now to stop that, the best is to use get keyword. But if I try to use Telnet, that is showing me destination and reachable gateway or host down, which basically is the access control is in action. Now, like previously, I can modify statements. I want to add the logging statements for those attempts. So what I would do in that situation, let me just go back here to show access list filter. I will go, go IP access list extended filter and it doesn't matter if I'm on sub interface, it'll just take me there. So now I'm extended named access control list. I'm going to say no 10, but I'm going to repeat 10 again. copy paste so do show access list uh, filter now obviously <laughs> I forgot to do no 10 forget to do my logging statement log <laughs> that's better so that was my intention do show access list filter now I'll, I'm gonna be logging those attempts okay so let's just do one more attempt Port 80 works, but if I go ping works, if I go telnet port 
it doesn't work tell that doesn't work but now I should be able to see the log statement so we come from port 28800 going towards port 23 now let's modify the statement and let's just say for the argument's sake I want to block the ICMP packets as well now one must be careful about here adding statements because if I have to show access list filter I need to you see what it does the 20 statements permits IP any any so if I add a blocking statement for ICMP packets it'll be added at the very end of the access control list and it won't work well, let's let's do that actually so I'm gonna add one more statement deny ICMP any any let's repeat now since the entry above and it's a top-down processing if there is a match and match here will be for any IP packets from coming from any source to any destination this entry will never be actually read because if there is a match and this is a match for everything remaining entries are ignored so at this point let's just do ping should not work but it will work because we never get to that entry statement or statement so there's a match and if there's a match ignore all the rest so I need to move this statement to let's say above the 20 how would I do that so no 31st and I'm gonna say 15 and I'm gonna copy that and paste so this way I reordered on the fly do show access list uh, statement now it's going to be applied because first we check if it's talent if it's not talent is it ICMP if it is ICMP from any source to any destination it's going to be denied and if it's not well permit everything else so now I won't be able to ping but I will be able to tell that port 80 that's allowed so that works and that's the basically um, access control list that is named and extended in action so in the next video I'm going to tackle the prefix lists and then the route maps because they will be very handy using BGP policy manipulation